How's it going everybody? Brad from Be Custom Finishes. We're going to go over a couple of the tabletop textures and styles that we offer here. Um, whenever you're thinking about your tabletop style, you want to think about um, what the end product's going to be. You know, do you want smooth finish, uh, rough finish, do you have a lot of kids, are you working with a lot of food on it? So a lot of options to come in, but you give us a call and we can help you out with it. What you see here is a smooth top finish. This is pine and uh, it's finished in an antique walnut stain. Uh, it gives a darker appearance. Um, the smooth top, our process is to make sure everything's plain and sanded down uh, a lot further than uh, our, our rustic top. Um, and what this does is it removes any bumps and gives you more of a blast off finish. We also add extra coats of sealer on the top of it just to make sure that you, know, you guys are getting a good end product. Right here is the same, same texture, just on oak. And uh, this is a little bit of a different stain. It's still our antique walnut, but it's a lighter antique walnut. And this is on oak. And you can tell the difference between the grain and knot pattern on the pine versus the grain and knot pattern on the oak. All things to think about whenever you're you know, going to be placing the order for your table. Moving on with our textures and finishes. Uh, these are two examples of our medium textures, uh, both on pine and oak. Uh, medium is obviously going to be right in between rustic and smooth. You're going to see, we're going to keep a little bit of the character from the saw marks, but it's going to be sanded down and planed out a little bit better. So you're not getting, it's not going to be as obvious as in the rustic top. Uh, this is finished in a dark antique walnut, uh, one of our more popular finishes and stains. And this is another clear coat oak. Um, as you can see, we like to keep, you know, the, the knot personality, uh, some of the saw marks. But to the touch, it's going to be a lot smoother than your rustic. It's a little bit easier to, uh, you know, to maintain. But uh, once again, it's all pretty much personal preference. All right, going along with uh, our tabletop textures and finishes, uh, we're going to show you two examples of our rustic tops. Our rustic tops, there's our process is there's not a lot of attention paid to um, planing down, sanding down. Pretty much, you're going to get a lot of the the big knots, the bumps, the nail holes from the barn wood that we use. Um, you're going to see a lot of gouges in it. And once again, this is catering to uh, whatever your personal preference is. But uh, right here, you see a custom amber color for a stain. And this is the, uh, the rustic texture. This is pine. And as you can see, it's whiteboards as well. Uh, this gives a different, different look to the eye when you're thinking about your table. We offer large, medium, and small uh, planks. So this is large amber uh, with a rustic finish. And we move to the rustic oak. Now, the cool thing about oak being rustic is it's a hardwood and you're gonna get a lot more character in the wood. Um, as you can see, the nail holes, knots, uh, cuts, saw marks, uh, you know, from when it's, when, it's, when it's cut down. And this is, believe it or not, this is just a clear coat. So our clear coat really brings out the natural beauty of the wood. And uh, as you can see here, these are our, our more slim planks. But uh, yeah, two other things to think about when you're ordering a table.